Hey guys, as you may know by now, I'm Al with ZZP. This right here in front of me is the engine out of our 10 second Sonic. Um, it was in the car for two seasons. We beat the ever living snot out of it. I've lost count of how many dyno poles we have on this thing. Um, those of you that follow along on like the Facebook groups, we had mentioned that we did, we did have some failures after we ran the 10.9. Uh, we turned it up a little more the next day. I thought the crankshaft had broken when we had a failure because I just assumed in this journey of pushing in car that was probably the first thing that was gonna break. I'm pleasantly surprised to find out that I was wrong. What we actually had happen was the flywheel bolt sheared off on the 3-4 shift of what would have been a new record pass. Uh, the aluminum galled up on the crank. Uh, the other ends of the bolts are still stuck in there. Uh, but as far as we can tell so far, the only thing that failed was the flywheel bolts. Um, we thought there was transmission damage. It ended up being a broken LSD, but we're 99% sure that that actually broke the last event of last season where we also shattered a CV joint on that side. Um, one of the, uh, I guess you'd call it a spur gear inside the LSG had, had broke and then kind of jammed things up. But it still functioned, it just didn't slip the way it was supposed to. Either way, the only things that have broken were some aftermarket parts. So we're gonna start tearing her down and uh, as I find things interesting, I'll stop and, and uh, explain those things to you guys. Uh, I'm really excited to see what kind of shape this thing is in after we made you know, 560, 576 on the dyno, uh, and then we turned it up a few more PSI at the track, because we always do, and it lived. And I had said beforehand that if it lived through the weekend, we were gonna do a teardown video, and here we are. I'm really excited to see what we find out, and I hope you guys are too. the head off and right off the bat I saw some pock marks on the exhaust side of cylinders one and two. I did break clean them off and rub them with my fingers so you can kind of see there. And then cylinder one had some other marks and at first I thought oh well yeah we ran into a little bit of detonation but then I look closer and they don't look like normal detonation marks. So then I went over here and looked at the cylinder head. And if you look here, we have the exact same marks on both of the cylinders lined up. So we did run the car without an air filter for a long time, mostly when we were running the smaller turbos, trying to get every last ounce we could. It looks like it just got a little bit of dirt in there, smashed it up against the head, and then shot it out the exhaust. That's what a little speck of dirt will do? Yeah, or a little pebble or something. Anything harder than the aluminum. Wow. But like all of these match up perfectly with the marks on the pistons. So this was a foreign object that caused this. It was not detonation, which, which is cool, but wild at the same time. Like as hard as we ran this thing, and people that have dealt with the 1.4s know they're kind of knock monsters. Man, it just took it. Like the, the rest of the piston looks amazing like slap a new set of rings on with a fresh hone and ship her again. 
It does look like we had a little bit of intake valve contact very lightly, but I was running the cam timing very aggressive and I knew that. And this also, I'm assuming, was some valve flow related to a missed shift. Otherwise, we would have had like actual problems with the valve sealing or breaking or bending a valve. I see no major problems so far, and I'm, I'm both extremely pleased and just my mind is blown at the same time. Uh, to, to rewind three years ago and think that we'd be at this point with that thing, it, it's crazy. And I'm excited to see what we can do further. rods and pistons out. Eric can come zoom in here. On the rod journals of the crank, I really don't, I mean, there's some signs of wear, some signs that perhaps this engine has been abused, which is kind of its entire life. But I've definitely seen much worse. It looks like all of them on the power stroke side have a little bit, a little bit of marks. That could have been from the thin oil we're running. But really, I mean, it's it spins pretty well. Can't really complain. And as far as the rods and pistons go, you can see all the top half rod bearings here. Some slight signs of wear. But based on everything that we've put this engine through, I'm, this kind of is like a best case scenario. I expected to see a little bit of wear, which we have, but it, it's, it's fine. So... Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> like, it's, I'm equally in, amazed, like hard to comprehend, but also just the way this car has ran and proven itself to us. Like I should have expected this. Yeah. So that's it for the teardown video. Uh, sorry I didn't have any uh, giant catastrophes to thrill you guys with, but it's also equally amazing that this thing held up to everything we threw at it, and now we're gonna do more. So I guess stay tuned to see what the Sonic does next. Deuces. <laughs>